laid, and I just want to show you guys real quickly before I start, make sure that your little slider part is in line with the back part. You don't want any of the teeth on the slider to be up higher on one side than on the other, or it will cut you or cut a dog. Uh, this can happen when you drop the blade, so make sure you inspect your blade before you use it. Um, now, the webbing of my finger is pretty skinny right there. I'm going to show you guys with this 40 blade, and I'm pressing down here. I'm not being eat gentle on myself. I'm scraping skin there. It won't cut you if it's in line. Come here, sweetheart. All right, this is Molly. And no, not Molly, Holly. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I edge ears with a 40 blade. I've got the ears stretched straight up. I go right along the leather. From top to bottom, from bottom to top. I don't use scissors on ear edges anymore. I use a 40 on the entire inside of the ear leather. On the outside of the ear leather, I use a 10. So I'm taking and pulling all the hair down. I'm following the edge of the ear leather from the tip to the base. Now if you have a dog that has skin tags here at the base of the ear, just be aware of those. You can zip around them with a 40, but if you do, you're exposing them and they look kind of stupid. So um, if I have a dog that has those skin tags, then I might scissor just to hide those a little bit. But then I'll stand back and look at the ear, make sure I got everything that's sticking out. And that's it.